What is cognitivism? Cognitivism is a learning theory that focuses on how information is received, organized, stored, and retrieved by the mind. Here, the mind is considered as an information processor, like a computer. Cognitivism, therefore, looks beyond observable behavior, viewing learning as internal mental processes. In this view, learners are actively involved in the way they process information, as we can see, the cognitivists are concerned with what learners know and how they come acquire it. Just like the behaviorists, the cognitivists observe changes in behavior, but only as an indication of what is going on in the learner's mind. It is important to note that cognitivism developed as a reaction to behaviorism and gained credence in the 1950s. In fact, the cognitivists objected to the behaviorists because they felt that the latter thought learning was simply a reaction to a stimulus and ignored the idea that thinking plays an important role. Although many researchers contributed to the development of cognitivist learning theory, such as Bruner, Vygotsky, and Bloom, Piaget's views had a tremendous impact. Spurred by the work of Piaget, the cognitivists viewed knowledge as symbolic mental constructs, or schemata. For the cognitivists, when a learner's schemata are changed, learning takes place. Some of the central principles in cognitivism and their implications in the classroom are 1. Learning is a process of organizing information into conceptualized models. 2. Instructions should be organized, sequenced and presented in a manner that is understandable and meaningful to the learner. Three. Retention and recall are important to build schemas in the brain. 4. Memory is supported by organizing learning material. And 5. Teachers must provide tools that help learners brain process information. I have identified three technology tools that I think would be helpful or effective for a cognitive learner like myself. The first tool is MindMap. MindMap is an interactive website that allows you to create mind and concept maps. Mind maps help organize information and visualize knowledge in the way our brains process it. My second tool is OneNote. OneNote is an online note-taking program that allows you to easily organize information as you type. You can create notebooks, sections, and pages to keep information easy to access and understand. My last tool is code.org. This is a great example of using scaffolding to build schemas. By learning in small steps, you build on your previous knowledge Scaffolds are built in when students fulfill challenges and build on their previous learning. That is cognitivism. Mm -hmm.